guys, in this video I will show you how to make a double-sided crochet photo card holder. It's super fun and easy to make, especially if you love decorating the photo cards of your faves. You know, give it a unique and personalized touch. So yeah, let's go! For this project, you will need light cotton yarn. I used mercerized cotton yarn in different colors, a 3.5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle, stitch markers, and a 3 by 4 inch hard plastic card sleeve or a top loader. Once you've gathered all the things you need, we can start! For the base of the frame, start by making a slip knot, and then chain 23. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess you would want to make your chain a bit loose, because we will be stitching across them later. Once you have all 23 chains, we are going to work single crochets in the back loops of each chain. We're going to skip the nearest chain from the hook and work it right here. So we to start here, make a single crochet, that and that, another. Just keep going across the entire chain. Now that you have reached the end, you will have 22 single crochets across and then chain one and flip your work over. We will be working single crochets across once again. So this pattern will just continue for the rest of this entire panel. We will be working about 32 rows of single crochets. This is how 32 rows of single crochets will look. You can take your top loader and as you can see the margins on the sides are pretty narrow. For the frame windows, we will start the same way as we did earlier. So work that slip knot and then make chains a count of 23. Once you have your foundation chain, again, work single crochets across. There should be 22 single crochets in total for this row. We are still working at the back loops. Once that's completed, again, chain one, flip your work over and single crochet your way across again. For this part of the frame, we will be working 7 rows of 22 single crochets across. This is how 7 rows of 22 single crochets should look. 
this would be the lower edge of the frame. To continue, just chain one, flip your work over, and then work five single crochets across. Just five single crochets to start the new edge of your frame. Chain one, flip your work over, and continue with this part of the frame. So in total, counting the seven single crochets below, you should be making 24 rows. Work your way upwards, okay? So this is how it should look like once you have all seven complete rows below and then the rest are five single crochets, 24 in total. You can cut the yarn and then just pull it through. We are going to weave this in and lock it along the way. So take your darning needle and then just hide the loose end on the wrong side of the frame. The wrong side of the frame is actually up to you and there's no set um, right or wrong face. Just decide which one you would want to have as the front of your frame. And then hide the loose end under the stitches, just like this. And then snip the excess yarn. There. Now for the opposite side, I'm gonna take your yarn again, start with a slip knot. And with this, you will be joining it on the opposite side, right here. So you're going to count five stitches. It's right here. You're going to start right there. Let's just bring this over to the back. So five, and then work a single crochet to start this edge. one and then work the second one and then just keep going while hiding the loose end oops <laughs> hiding the loose end so you wouldn't have to weave it in anymore again on the opposite side so just keep going and if we started with 24 rows on the opposite side for this one we will be working 25 so that's one row more than the other So now that we have 25 rows, and then 24 rows on the opposite side, we will be connecting the two. Okay, we're going to bridge this gap with chain 12. After chain 12, pick up your work and connect it to the other side with a single crochet. 
So basically, the other side is one row less because this is the part when you will work your single crochets across to complete it. Now chain one and then flip your work over and just keep working your single crochets across the top layer of the frame. Now for the chain part, you will be stitching over the top part, like the one that looks like a braid and not the back loop which we worked on earlier. So I usually switch my hook to a smaller one just to make sure I get both stitches pick up the yarn and pull through. Honestly, this is the least fun part of this project, but yeah, you have to do it anyway. <laughs> So just continue working this way across. So now we have continued on the other side. You'll just have to keep going across, just keep going, single crochets into each stitch across right here, and then also upwards until you reach 7 rows. This is the complete window, I'm just going to show you with the base. It's supposed to look like this. Okay, they're about the same size. And you have to make two of these windows, because of course you're making a double-sided photo card holder. So look at how they have about the same size too. And this one goes in the middle. Sun's shining brighter now. <laughs> Just like that. So let's set this down. We're going to continue with the binding. The clouds have covered the sun again. So take your stitch marker and just meet all corners together. I prefer using the safety pin kind of stitch marker for smaller projects like this one because the stitches are tighter. Just hold them in place. can also put another stitch marker right here. And close it up. To bind the edges, I prefer using a smaller hook. You can still use the 3.5mm crochet hook, but I like to insert the hook more easily through the stitches, so I use a smaller hook. Now take your yarn and just pull it through all three panels. 
this can get quite tricky, so be careful, because you have to make sure that you're stitching through each panel, all three of them. So that's one. And then you gotta pick that up, two, and three. Three. Hold the loose end in place so that you wouldn't have to weave it in anymore. And pull through. So just single crochet your way across the edges. Always make sure you have all three panels on your hook. Now that we have completed the first edge, chain two for the corner, and then insert your hook through all three panels again, and continue working your single crochet. By the way, the chain two we worked earlier was so the corner wouldn't curl or look too tight. So yeah, you'll be doing the same for the other corners of this project. Chain two in every corner. For now, just continue working single crochets across the side of the frame. Say you have reached the top of the frame you have one panel here and the other right here. We will be stitching across them. We're not going to join them with the yellow part anymore, just across the frame parts, the windows. So just work single crochets all the way across the frames. Towards the end, just flip your work over and continue working those single crochets across the top of the frame. Now that you've reached the end, see here, this is the last corner, just lock your work, pull it nice and tight. Snip it with your scissors and pull it through. Now we're going to weave in these loose ends. So this is how the frame looks like, front and back. You're pretty much done. So this is my frame after I've decorated it. For the sides, I made this decorative edge and added rhinestones right here, because, well, 17 and diamonds, hello. <laughs> and here I have my 17 Love and Letter package album. It's one of my favorite 17 albums because it's around the time that I entered the fandom. So my photo cards are right here, CTK. Very young DK. <laughs> and the other one is Johan. I'll place Johan right here. And DK right here. So there. That's my double sided crochet photo card holder. Let me show you the other photo card holders I made. They are just one-sided though. This is inspired by Dio's first solo album, so I kept it really simple to match the look of the album and attached a T-ring. For my Kino photo card, I attached a daisy applique right here with pearls. You can get the tutorial for this daisy on my channel. I also made this PTG charm with glass beads.
Then here we have a holder inspired by Astro's Blue Flame album, which is one of the most aesthetic albums I own. I used the bookmark that came with the album as a key ring. I also added some embroidery right here at the corners. And finally, my favorite, featuring my first love in K-pop, E Jin Ki, or shiny Stubu leader on you. At the back, you'll see my shiny Swiss Army knife and another beading I made for the group. Shiny. This charm's just so pretty. So I hope this video inspires you to make pretty frames for your dear photo cards. See ya! If you like this project and decide to try your hand at making one, please, please tag me, aka The Morning Hooker, to your story or post on Instagram, because I'd love to see your work. As always, thanks for watching!